Hey guys, welcome back. Um, my name is Anthony Sicari from New York State Solar Farm, and I'm joined from the other side of the world, Mike French from EcoSolar in Hawaii. So we're as far apart from each other as we could be. And today, today the Tesla Powerwall Gateway 2 got released, and there's been a lot of anticipation about this product coming out. And today, um it finally got released which we're really pumped about so about this since you visited the gigafactory three four months ago yeah november yeah it's there in november and when they showed it to us we were like you know it's it's phenomenal and i actually um anthony will show a side by side of the nuke 2 versus the old version um and it was when Elon saw the original version, he basically told the engineering team, we, we got to get rid of that gray box. He didn't realize that that was actually part of the system. Mm -hmm. um, and aesthetics, you know, this, without everything that's for the homeowner, you know, the functionality, the costs and all those things, just the pure appearance of it, that's what really sets apart from any other battery out there. It's just aesthetically, it's just a really nice piece of equipment that's taken a lot of thought to how it looks on your wall as well, so besides just, function. So some of the things that I got in the, in the bulletin were tempered glass cover, powder coated enclosure for durability and a sleek aesthetic look. Customers will love the look of the new gateway and Behind me is a demo of the Tesla Powerwall 2. And basically, the gateway is going to look just like the Tesla Powerwall. Miniature. Yeah. It's going to be a, a miniature, miniature version of the Tesla Powerwall 2, which is pretty, pretty sick. It's sick. <laughs> Absolutely sick. Yeah. And I, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I, I can't wait for our shipments to come in. Um, in fact, we actually have our official first trainings coming up in this next week. Um, we pretty much know about it already. We, we went through all the details when we were in um, Spark, Nevada, yeah. uh, when Ben and the crew were checking it out. So we pretty much know how it works and how everything is. So, you know, the specs, everything is almost the same. They've changed a, little, a few little things, but overall, um, just the appearance of it. And when you see the old version versus the new version, um, you see where Anthony and I are coming from and how uh, awesome it looks. Yeah, I'm I mean, sure. I'm in my basement right now, and I've done a lot of videos on my system. We've done the 30-day challenge together, Mike, um, and 30-day challenge went 30 days off the grid um, with my home and just stood strictly on power walls and solar. And I, I have that gray that gray gateway box in my house, yeah. which it's not, listen, for everyone we've installed it on, it's still awesome. It's just this new one, it, it's just got a, a better look to it. It's pretty sleek looking. Yeah. It's, it's Absolutely. Awesome, yeah. Yeah. So some of the other features, Mike, that um, I'll just bring up, integrated metering, site metering is pre-installed for added convenience at installation. The metering is also a higher accuracy for precision energy monitor and ready for virtual power plant programs <laughs> do you know more are you doing that on the island right now virtual power plant or is that like future state for, for that's future state i mean there's all different types of programs we have over the we have different i mean hawaii versus the rest of the united states hawaii has probably the most um uh, intricate type of net metering type systems we went through many stages um and so when we go to homes you know we have um, three levels of net metering basically we had a uh, net metering we had cgs which is customer grid supply and then we have cgs plus um and basically for each home um rapid shutdown was such a big thing um hico's requirements here and on the whole rapid shutdown was was a, a very big thing, uh, meaning that if the grid was saturated, they didn't want any power coming back to the grid, saturated at all. So it, um, I think we're gonna see from Tesla, I think we're gonna see 
in the future, we're going to start seeing more capabilities. There's been a lot of buzz in the world about if the homeowner owns a power wall and they have a Tesla vehicle in the garage, it was brought up when I was up there many yeah. times. If the car could actually feed back to the home, if the power wall um, was uh, depleted and uh, if, if the engineering crew would actually allow the, the car to actually back feed the home through right. the gateway. So we'll see. Um, but it was brought up quite a bit when I was up there. That was the number one thing I think brought up. So the other thing that they brought up was um, faster installation. An optional internal panel board can be configured uh, with up to six two-pole circuits for non-backup load or generation connections for, for installation. Yeah. yeah. So they have a landing inside there basically without putting another mixing pot or another box next to it where they can land, land the e-loads. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess, you know, faster installation, yeah, but until we get our hands on it, um, I guess we'll see that part, see how that works out. So the, we're pretty quick as it is. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing, um, new applications they wrote down, additional features to help support of off-grid. Um, a reminder, you know, off-grid is now available to install, which I, I don't think we're really doing these in cabins in the woods. You're not doing any of that stuff, right, Mike? We're, we're no. doing all grid tied applications. So that, that really, it's cool to see they got it, but that's not really what we're doing it for. Um, the other thing was, I thought was pretty cool was the vehicle charging uh, during grid and power out. Yeah, that was, that was the coolest thing, I think. And that wasn't just for the new power, new gateway. Old customers have that also with the software update. Yes. So it's like, it's like your iPhone having the capability of doing it without having the new iPhone. So if it, if you go into a full blackout and you're running strictly off power walls um, and solar power, basically if you have your car plugged in and you're fully charged, it'll still charge the car. But once the power wall gets to a certain point, then it cuts the car off. Am I correct in yeah. that? Yes. And I, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I also believe that the, you can set the system where if your PV uh, generation is lower than what the charge rate for the vehicle is, it will curtail it mm -hmm. as well. So it actually bring it down to, so if your car is pulling 5kW, your PV system, let's just say it's doing 4kW, it would actually match and wouldn't exert from the battery too. Mm -hmm. So it'd be interesting how that actually works is um, what they told us in, in Reno was they, they were trying to figure out and help homeowners not let the system draw so much energy and just completely kill all their system and to be more mindful of the system if it has um, exerted the energy production or the usage of the cars drawing off of it. They want just people to be more mindful and be aware that not to um, exert everything from the home. So I think that was a great added feature. Um, and they've been working on that and other things as well. Mike, I think what, in explaining it, so like you have your solar panel, like this guy right behind me, the solar mm -hmm. panel is for all intents and purposes, it's dumb. It's just, it's got the, the, the cells in these panels. Usually our sun power panels have 96 cells in each panel. Yeah. Um, but it's the micro inverter that's behind each panel. That's the brains that's governing everything behind it. That it's getting the most out of each panel and really, the power wall, it's got all the batteries inside of it. It's got the cooling, everything that's in there. But the real brains is the gateway. The gateway is yeah. controlling everything. And I think it's similar. Solar panel to inverter, power wall to gateway is kind of the way I explain it to customers. Yeah. It's your home monitoring system is basically what it is. Your, your energy flow system. Yeah. They're basically putting a micro grid on your home. And I think as time goes on, we're going to start seeing more and more um, capabilities, more software updates, more 
people are being more mindful what they do. I think that's the biggest thing, um, Anthony, is that, you know, in this time when this whole COVID-19, I have more and more customers telling me that they call the Tesla monitoring system, they call it Netflix Tesla is what they call it. They literally are watching it all day. Yeah. I have customers I talked to yesterday that they know what the husband knows what the, the wife's doing at home and he's at work and he calls up and he goes, honey, shut that dryer off. The system's not producing enough energy for that dryer. So literally, I think with the whole green movement, I think Tessa was able to make people more mindful just overall what their energy usage in real time mm-hmm. versus like you said, here you have panel and you have battery. But back in the day when we had panels, just panels, we would see just production size. You would have right. consumption as well. But then the monitor system, as we all know, was very delayed. And now that you can see everything in real time and, and the accuracy is really good with a gateway, I think that brought to a whole new level as far as energy management. That's my, that's my opinion after seeing this so many times. It's true. And the gateway not only like the microinverter is governing the PV system, that gateway is governing everything. PV system, yeah. load in house, car that's charging in garage. Uh, the the hus- grid. Husband turns in the compressor, the grid goes out. The amount of calculations that that thing is doing is absolutely insane. And I'm blown away yeah. when I put the main breaker off and I have every compressor in the house running as well as the compressor in the garage and without a beat, nothing nothing skips yeah mike yeah. show everyone what this thing looks like what do you think let's show them all right cool and i think you should show them the before and after too okay as well definitely so this is can you see it mike oh yes that is sexy that's definitely the after <laughs> yes it's definitely after um and it is it's a uh, that 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 face plate you see there is uh, it's glass, uh, tempered glass. Um, we we we, I I try to I try to actually take that whole thing and put it in my backpack, but um, it wouldn't fit when I was at the um, <laughs> at Spark Nevada because I really wanted to take that one of those back home with me, and and uh, display it at the show. But um, those guys watch us like hawks, so unfortunately that did not go in my um, backpack. So. My- I can't wait until the entire power wall is the size of the gateway. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. going to be real sweet when you could just, uh, cause that, I mean, you could see the power wall behind me. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a beast, but it's, it I, is. It hangs on the wall. I, I, only five I, I think a lot of people don't even realize Anthony too, the size of the battery that you, that you look at there, the actual size, if you take the gateway and turn it sideways, and put it on the bottom of the Tesla power wall. Yeah. That's what the battery compartment is about the size of. Right? So that you have the cooling system built in there and everything, which is from about the Tesla line uh, where the Tesla word comes across the battery, everything below the word Tesla is about the power pack. Above the word Tesla and the power pack is actually the, the cooling system that's built into Tesla. So right. What you're saying is on on here, Mike. When we're when we're looking at it, um, let me draw a little something on here. See if I could get this going. But uh, let me clear this out. From like when I open up my when I open up the demo, or even on mine when you open up the side from here down, is all batteries on here. Yes. Yeah. And then from here up, you have like the heat sink on there that's got the cooling unit and everything yeah. to cool the battery pack. Right. Right. So that monitors the entire system. The fans are built in there too, the cooling system as well. And um that's why their um their batteries have been so successful because it just it it monitors the battery and it's just it's an ultra safe battery as well. But um yeah it looks great. Looks really good. We're super excited. I'll Can't just wait. on here, Mike, just the um, uh, the old gateway is the old gateway. Um, there it is right there, right? Yeah, that's it. 
So you can see there's a huge contrast between the new and the old. So it gives a good perspective of the size of it. Um, even with the new one, it's going to be a similar size to that one, but the whole front plate's basically going to look like the Tesla. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Any closing thoughts on this? I mean, we, we haven't installed them yet. We're going to probably get ours in in a month or two. You're going to, when are you going to get yours in? Before us, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get ours real soon here. Um, and mind you, that Europe's been installing this for several months already. Europe has had them for a while. And um, the U.S. got the last release. So um, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was cool to see it. UK, Australia, and other parts of the world installing them already. Mm -hmm. So couldn't wait for to get ours though. Well, and now a bunch of videos once you know we get them in house and could start start checking them out. Real life pictures of them. Believe me, I'll be taking pictures. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. For jumping on for a couple minutes, I just wanted, you know, it was exciting news in the in the Tesla solar sun power you know, ecosphere, what's going on with this. So I just wanted to get a quick video out, just highlight a couple of points of what's going on. The biggest thing, cosmetically, it's gonna look super cool. I know these are gonna be in people's garages, basements, but still it'll go with the flow of the power wall system as well as the monitoring that we're putting in for our, our PV system. And um, we'll, we'll keep updates coming. Happy, uh, happy uh, what is it, what day is it? It, with this cold. Uh, it's day everything is day now we don't have days everything is day 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 what's well, tomorrow it's day so, dude have a great yes. memorial day weekend thanks for jumping on for me with me a little bit mike all right bud Later. cheers